Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the price of oil and that it has been skyrocketing due to the Russia-Ukraine uh, conflict and that the West has collectively started talking, discussing, uh, maybe completely banning Russia from being able to export oil, uh, which would limit the supply of oil, but not the demand and then, you know, supply and demand. So just on this news, the, the price started skyrocketing and it does not look like the price of the oil is going to come down. And obviously this is a major fundamental change in the portfolio. And I wanted to tell you my thoughts about it, how I hedge my portfolio against this and what you can do to do the same. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos. And let me know what stocks you're buying to hedge your portfolio and how it's going. So basically oil is an inflation generating uh, commodity and uh, the fact that the oil price has gone so high, uh, it is almost at the highest ever price that it has ever been. I'm going to show you the graph. It has moderated a little bit earlier today. It was at $130 uh, per barrel. Now it's below 120 and it's good that it's moderating. The highest it was is in 2008, uh, where the high was at 147. Now, do I think that the price is going to go significantly higher than this? Uh, I don't think that that's very real, uh, at least in, in the long term. In the short term, it might be real because the thing is that uh, for in the Arab countries, it uh, don't quote me on this, but I think it's about 20 to $30, may, maybe even $10 a barrel to produce the oil. So they're making out like bandits right now. Uh, and there is newer technologies of, of uh, producing oil, like fracking. Uh, that are feasible in the United States, but I believe their break even point is about 50 to $60. So pretty much anybody who has any oil on their land is very much itching right now, because even if you have a very expensive technology to extract oil, you're going to make buy. Um, so as long as the Western governments and Mr. Biden allows uh, for oil production to happen, which they, they, I mean, they have been very negative on this, but now it's a whole different scene and you're basically helping uh, Putin in the Ukraine war if you don't stop the export. And when do you know that times are changing? It's when even Mr. Elon Musk is tweeting about how we need to increase the oil and gas output immediately. Uh, this is a real tweet, I promise, and it just shows how much integrity he has and how much of a common sense guy he is, so all respect to him. But back to this point, I don't think uh, in the long term it's real that the oil price will reach 160, 200, $230 per barrel because it's just supply and demand and you make so much profit that everybody is going to look for ways to extract oil from anything that they can. Um, however, a, a prolonged Ukraine-Russia crisis might result in a, in a continuously high oil price. And it's, it's something that uh, makes you reevaluate your portfolio, right? And basically, at first, I was very afraid, like, oh my God, this is going to crash so many companies. But then I, when I actually started looking at it, okay, what happens when oil price is too high? You know, it, people will start canceling their trips, uh, you know, they will drive less. And I started thinking, okay, it's, it's a bit like COVID, you know, you stay at home, not as much. So, you know, pretty much the stocks that were good uh, on the stay at home, they will also be good and not affected by high oil prices. And I'm, I'm thinking about, Again, these are just my opinions. Uh, I'm thinking about Zoom, uh, Teladoc. Um, there, there is going to be an ultimate winner in this that I want to take uh, last. But you know, for example, Google with its YouTube, you're more likely to stay at home, uh, not go out, and then you know what are you gonna consume? Social media, Zoom, uh, Zoom, Facebook, uh, Netflix. Uh, you know, you're gonna be on YouTube. So I believe that all these stocks are very not affected by. The oil price change then you have you know uh, brick and mortar uh, uh, stores like walmart and you know amazon that is very dependent on amazon is not really brick and mortar but they are very dependent on delivering stuff right and then as long as delivery costs go up because oil goes up they're not going to do as well another thing that you need to um, pay attention to is that i believe that we're going into peak fear because of the oil we had inflation fears uh, at the beginning of the year and then the growth stocks got killed and you know then the Russia Ukraine uh, fears now we have the oil fears and the problem is that this oil price going up is not something that the Fed can uh, that the Fed can fix with uh, raising the interest rates 
So this really is a new scene. And if you are a long-term investor, uh, which I really encourage you to be at least with a portion of your portfolio, that's, that's what I do. I have 50% in uh, short-term trading and 50% in uh, long-term trading and almost 100% of the 50% is in Palantir which is actually very positively affected. Uh, it, it has an, the oil price has zero effect on Palantir and the Russia-Ukraine situation, uh, I believe is a great catalyst uh, for the stock. So it's fantastic uh, hedge in, 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 in this environment, right? So what I wanted to say, if you have a five year uh, time horizon, uh, then this time that we have when you have peak fear, because you know, the problem is that when you're a long time investor, you know, you have this saying by Warren Buffett that be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. And it's easier said than done. I know as an investor, because I have a few years around the market, I lived through the COVID crisis. And, you know, when the stocks were falling, you were the same fear for as the market It's just you need to somehow train yourself when you have peak fear then that is normally the sign when things will turn around, you know, and if you have a long term time horizon and you actually buy things uh, that where you can, you know, where you're not expecting a return in the next uh, two weeks or, you know, the next five days or the next few months where you can even cost average down yourself into the position, then you're going to make out of the situation like a bandit. You know, you look at companies with solid inflation proof balance sheets, uh, very low debt. You know, it's very hard to go bankrupt uh, when you have no debt in the company. And if you, on top of it, have a high growth and, you know, it doesn't look like the current Ukraine, Russia and oil situation affect you. I'm biased. I'm talking about Palantir and other stocks that you that you uh, can find that are like this, then you will do great. Then this is the best time for you, even though it feels scary. It's really now a time to be looking at the market, doing your own an analysis. And I believe that there's one stock outside of Palantir that is a huge winner in this and that is Tesla. Tesla was already considered a um, safe haven asset uh, by Morgan Stanley in an article. Think about it. When the oil prices are going up, everybody is thinking, shit, I wish I would have an EV because then I would not be affected by the oil prices. And Tesla has a super good balance sheet. They have, I believe, more than 20 billion in the bank. They have their order books completely filled for the next couple of months. And this high oil price could result uh, in that they actually sell out for a year or two years ahead of production, which is insane. So Tesla, I believe, is the ultimate winner uh, in this. However, do your own research. I'm sure there are many other companies. The thing with Tesla is that you know, the, the, the price of it has always been pricey. Uh, so I don't believe that there will be a time when you will be thinking, OK, I'm buying Tesla cheap. So it's just something that you have to get your head around. And is is there realistically a chance that you will, uh, you know, like five X your money in the next five years? Maybe not on Palantir. It's very real that you will five X your money. And that's why I, I'm very heavily invested in Palantir. Tesla, I believe, is a safer bet but it's a very good bet in this situation. Uh, but if you wanna survive this crisis, the Russia-Ukraine crisis, the oil crisis, don't go with the fear, have your head in the right place, take the time to research your stock and buy awesome stocks for a long time horizon and you will do amazing. Let me know what stocks you're interested and make sure you like the video and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.